Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. This right here, it's my 2014 Mustang. And in an earlier video, if you guys remember, I put some white line sway bars on here. Now, those sway bars were adjustable, and today I want to go over how to adjust them and why you want to adjust them. So, for some of you returning viewers, you may have noticed that I am in a different location. I have moved and I got myself a garage, so I even got room to put the other Mustang in here. So, I got two Mustangs in one garage. It's great. I still got that big storage unit that I usually work in. I'll probably be doing all of my work there and doing most of my videos there. But every once in a while, I will be filming some stuff here. Now, before I talk about why you want adjustable sway bars, I think we need to go over two things. One, we need to talk about what's understeer, and two, we need to talk about what is oversteer. All right, so let's talk about what understeer is. Now, basically, it's kind of in the name. Your car does not steer as much as you want it, underperformed. So, as you're driving along, and say you're going a little faster than you would like to, and you want to go make a turn, well, what will happen is you'll turn your wheels, and your vehicle will want to continue going forward. So, basically, as you're trying to turn, your front wheels won't have enough traction, kind of slides more forward than it does turn. Uh, you can still be able to turn, but you won't turn quite as much as you want to. I did get this clip at Autocross, so this is kind of a good example where you can listen to the car go around the corner, and it's basically nothing but tire squeal, and it's the front tires trying to fight for traction, and that's what understeer is. Basically, your car continues to try to go forward, and it does it a little bit more than you would like. Now that we know that understeer is the front sliding, Let's talk about the fun one, oversteer. Now, that's when the back side of the car slides. If anybody has seen drifting, it's basically a fancy oversteer. So what I'm trying to do when I'm setting up my car for autocross, track day, whatever I'm trying to do, is I want a balance between understeer and oversteer. Now, I kinda like just a little bit more oversteer, that way when I'm going around the corner, my car just slightly leans. I don't want too much where I spin out and you know it takes more to control it. I want more of a balanced neutral car. Now, the purpose of your sway bar, it's pretty much in the name. It's a sway bar or an anti-roll bar. It's to keep your vehicle from leaning side to side when you're going around a corner to help give you a little bit more stability. Now, the way that the sway bar works, it's gonna have one end that's gonna connect to the suspension on one side and then one end that's gonna connect to the suspension on the other side while having connections in the middle to the body. Now, what that does is it makes it all kind of one solid piece. So the stiffer the bar, the more anti-roll you have. So when going around the corner, what happens is everything, if it's too stiff, it will overload the traction of the tires. And what you want to do is we're going to soften the side that has the, the problem. So obviously on my car, I have understeer. So we're going to try to soften the front one up. That way it doesn't overload the tires too fast. So if it's a little bit softer, it's not going to react as fast. And so the tires won't instantly lose grip. Now for the understeer issue, we can also do the opposite to the other side. So since we soften the front side up, we can also stiffen up the rear of the car. Now, since we're gonna stiffen up the rear car, what happens is this side reacts a little bit faster, which helps soften the front up a little bit too. So vice versa, if you have some oversteer going on, we're gonna soften the rear end up and tighten up the front. So moving under the rear of the Mustang here, it's a lot easier to see things in the front of the Mustang. There's a splash guard, so it covers everything up so you can't really see much. But this right here, that's the rear sway bar. So we got our sway bar, we got our end link, and if you look at the end of the sway bar right here, we have four holes in here. And basically all we're gonna do to change the stiffness of the sway bar is we're gonna move the end link from one hole to the other, depending on what we need. Now, if we go towards the front of the sway bar or closest to the actual big sway bar itself, that's gonna make it stiffer. If we move it to the hole in the back, that's gonna make it a little bit softer. Now, the reason that it gets stiffer or softer depending on what hole we're in, it has to do with leverage. Now, if we have this further back, that's actually further away from the sway bar over there, so there's actually more leverage on the sway bar to move like this, so it makes it a little bit softer. You know, think of it as a wrench. If you're holding the wrench way back here, you have a lot more leverage than if you hold it way up here, so it's a lot harder to turn. So same with here. If we have it at closer to the sway bar, it's gonna be a lot stiffer than if we have it further away. All right, here's the front of the Mustang. As I said before, there's a, a splash guard right there, so you can't really see much, but there's the end of the sway bar. It's the same setup as in the rear. There's four holes, so I got four points of adjustment. Uh, in the front of the car, I'm going to be softening it up, so I'm gonna be moving it one hole further away. 
and drive around and see how that goes. All right, I've made my adjustments in the rear. I went from the almost hardest one to the hardest one. So hopefully that will help fix my problem. Also in the front, I went from the hardest one to one softer. So I did one soft in the front, one hard in the rear. Uh, hopefully that helps out since I put these big fat tires in the back. I've been having a little bit of problems with understeer. So let's see how it goes on autocross this weekend. And if I have any more problems, I'll adjust it from there. Hey, if you guys liked the video, you should hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time when I post one of my videos, you guys will know. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next video.